Uh, today we're going to look at TUIR, which is a uh, how to browse Reddit from your terminal. Um, this is actually forked from RTV, which I've been using for a little while. Uh, but we're going to start over from scratch here. Um, in order to install it, down here, just use pip. It's made out of, it's uh, written in Python. So pip install TUIR. Uh, I might have to do pip3 install TUIR. Um, I've already done that. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to make this a little bigger. And also, show my keys. All right, TUIR. Boop. All right, so here it is. Use the J key to go down, K key to go up, just like in Vim, VI or Vim. Um, we're not logged in right now, so all we have to do is hit the U key. Launches a browser. Double check our username up here. Say allow. Access granted. So we go back, and now we're uh, now we're logged in. Um, so this is the main page. We can sort by hot, top, rising. All we got to do is hit the one, two, three, or four, whatever we want. Um, so let's go ahead and just, uh, we can go into our, a different subreddit. Let's go into the Linux. So now we're in the Linux subreddit. We can read through. And again, I made the, this font super huge so you guys can read it. Um, normally it's not going to be this big. Uh, so let's go into one. So use the L key to enter in. Uh, one other thing, um, I hit the H key to go back. Um, and just like in uh, in Vim, so H would go left, L would go right. Uh, if you hit enter, this is a, an image. So if you hit enter, it's going to open up in a web browser. So this guy is talking about OpenMoji. All right, close that. We'll hit back. Um, so let's hit L to go in there. This has plenty of comments, so we can go ahead and, uh, oops, what are we doing here? I wasn't in there. Go ahead in there. And let's go ahead and uh, make a comment. Now, if you're, if you're highlighted, you can see this highlight going up and down. If you're highlighted on one of these, you hit the C button, you're gonna comment on that comment. So what you wanna do if you wanna make a um, a top level reply. Hit K until you're at the top. You see it's flashing, so that means it can't go up any higher. Hit the C button. So now it opens up in Vim or whatever your default um, editor is. You just gotta make sure you write outside of these instructions here. You can delete those too, whatever you wanna do. Um, so hit the I to insert mode. I was like, I'm not sure about these. Put it that. Posting submission. All right, now we can refresh by hitting R. And let's sort by new. So hit four. See, look at that. Um, now what we can do is we can go through. We can upvote, downvote. You can see all the uh, stuff at the bottom there. So A or Z to vote. So let's upvote something. How about this guy here, MX21? Sorry, that looked dreadful. Hit the A button. Gives it a little upvote. So hit H to go back. Um, yeah. So I don't know what more you need to know about it. It's pretty cool. Um, you can have this open. Uh, um, so if you're doing... Let me switch it back to how I normally have my, uh, oops. So normally it'd be like this. So I'd be doing work probably down here, blah, blah, blah. And then up here would have the different things. So, yeah, J to move down, K to move up, K 
give it a shot. Let me know what you think. There's way more to learn too. Um, if you go to the um, uh, the page for it here, I'll put a link in the video for it. Uh, you can look at blah 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 blah, blah controls. And here's a ton of new, a ton of different things I didn't tell you about. So give it a shot. Easy to install, easy to use, and um, it's great. We'll see you next time.